Kwa kwa majina naitwa Kennedy Osando Samani Hospitia wa Jia East hapa uh, wa Jia Town Ningependa kusema ya kwamba amnamo jana ambayo ilikuwa ni tarehe 14 mwezi wa 5 mwaka huu wa 2023 kati ya saa moja na saa mbili ugombi ya watu wawili katika uh, bula ama location ya Almao iliweza kusababisha uh, kifo na ikasababisha kucherui watu wengine wa watatu vibaya itokea kwamba kijana mmoja ambao anaitwa Abdi Hamad Gure eh, ambao ni msomalia miaka yake ni 18 alikuwa kwa boma yake akiwa anapumzika na sikiza radio na tulipo hata fisti sin tuliona ya kwamba alikuwa na kunywa chai alitembelewa na mwenzake wa karibu ambao anamjua vizuri anaitwa Abdi Father Muhammad Abdi Father Muhammad Hussein ambao pia ni msomalia wa miaka 32 hawa wakawa na masungumzo na katika kule kusungumza hawa kuelewana vizuri huyu Abdi Father Muhammad Hussein akaingia kwa nyumba na akatoka na panga huyu kijana Abdi akamuuliza mwana unaingia kwa nyumba unatoka na panga na hapa sio kwenu hapo na hapo yule kusikia hivyo alimkata kwa kichwa alimkata kwa kichwa a deep cut on the left side ya kichwa uh, alafu akamkata pia kwa mkono ya kulia eh, apa chini ya elbow kutoka kwa elbow paka kwa wrist sasa ile kijana mwenye amekatwa akajaribu kutoroka watoto wakaona akarudi amkate tena kwa tumbo lakini wale watoto walikuwa pale karibu wakamtubia mawe ndio aka mwenye sasa alikuwa nakata huyu Abdi Fadha Muhammad ambao alikuwa napanga na alikuwa nakata mwenzake akaanza kutoroka so alipotoroka wale watu walikuwa kwa boma na watoto wakaitana wakaanza kupeleka huyu kwa hospitali atua kidogo tu atua chache tu kutoka hapo kama uh, uh, about 500 meters away akakutana na kijana mmoja alikuwa kwa pigipigi yake imemwaribikia kwa njia akiteremka akipanda na huyu sasa akiteremka huyu kijana alikuwa anaitwa Abdi Break Mohamed ambao pia ni msomalia miaka yake ni 18 akamkata kwa kichwa alimkata on the left side of the neck na akamjerui na akaendelea kutoroka Sasa hapo eh, kuna kijana mmoja alikuwa anapita na gari akambeba. Alipomkata hata huyu kijana alitoroka. Sasa alipotoroka akakutana na taksi akambeba na hiyo taksi akamrudisha nyumbani baadaye akampeleka hospitali pale Rivaro. Huyu mwenye kukata the silent Abdul Fadha Muhammad Hussein bado anaendelea kutoroka na amejiami na ile pa panga vile tulimfuata alikuja akapitia nyuma ya stadium the main wacha stadium hapo nyuma kuna njia ya mguu e, inakuja ndio kuja ku connect na, na barasa baki ndio ingie town tunahofia kwamba ama tunahisi ya kwamba ama tunaona ya kwamba alikutana na kijana mwingine ambao anaitwa Nur Muhammad Sheikh alimkata kutoka nyuma kwa kichwa 
na alipomkata yule shek alianguka na karara kifudi fudi na akamkata tena na akatoroka alipotoroka tayari tumepata habari ya kwamba kuna mtu anakata watu na polisi wametoka wameanza kufuatilia hii kijana the asylum amekuja kabisa paka junction ya kwenda wajia high school hapo penye wameru wameru wanausa mikuka ama ama mira akaingia kwa duka ya kijana moja anaitwa Martin Mutembei alaya sanaitwa Raso kuongea kidogo tu ku exchange kidogo tu akamweka panga kwa kichu eh akamkata vibaya sana eh? on the left side of the head na ile kijana akaumia watu wale walikuwa hapo waka wakaona ni kitu gani inafanyika wakaanza kushangilia on the process ya kushangilia akaanza kutoroka akaacha ile panga hapo akaban the banga hapo kwa faranda akaanza kutoroka sasa watu walimtorosha wakamkamata waka lakini sasa eh vile walimkamata ikawa watu wanataka kumuua eh, kwa vile vitendo alikuwa amefa amefanya sasa vile naye polisi tulikuwa tumeshikia tunafuata tukamuokoa akaingizwa ndani ya hospitali pale kwa hospitali akaoka kwa rumu nyingine watu wakajaa kwa hospitali ikawa sasa wanataka they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they were after kumurinj kumuua sasa hapo ndio tulifanya akili kama polisi tukaenda na gari nyingi ya polisi kama mbili tatu hivi tukamtoa kwa haraka haraka tukamweka kwa gari moja tuka we whisked them away tukampeleka kwa kwa police station tukamweka cell ningependa kusema ya kwamba ile kijana alikata ya kwanza ambao ni <coughs> Abdi Hamed Gure alikimbishwa hospitali inaitwa Kamel. Tulipoenda tulipata bado anafanywa eh anafanywa amepelekwa theater anafanywa operation kulingana na vile alikuwa ameumia. Baadaye eh, tulirudi na tukapata ya kwamba ametoka theater na ile cut it was a deep cut but the good side ni kwamba haikuingia kwa skull so kulingana na daktari alituambia is out of danger but anataka specialist treatment because hata vidole pia ili cut na kitole moja ilikuwa ili loose so he was admitted he was rushed to camel uh, private hospital na upon he alikuwa admitted na tulipo jioni tu kabla tujamaliza tulikuwa tumehakikisha kwamba is in a stable condition kulingana na maagizo ya daktari Abdi Barik Mohamed yule alikata kwa njia ali alikuwa admitted wajia Rivaro Hospital and by the time tulienda huko tuliacha kama anapelekwa theater lakini condition yake pia ilikuwa uh, stable yule alikata ya tatu vile alimkata tu na akaanguka huyu ambao anaitwa Nur Muhammad Sheikh yule alianguka na hakuamka by the time tulikuwa tu, tu, tunafika hiyo scene tulipata kama amefariki so tulimbeba mwili wake tulitoa hapo tukaupeleka mochari ya Rivaro hapa wajia yule wa mwisho ambao ni Martin Mutembei ambao alikato pale chakuli ya kwenda wajia high school pia alikuwa admitted pale wajia Rivaro Hospital and by the time tulikuwa tunamtembelea uh, they had stopped the breathing and the, according to the doctor he was out of danger kwa hivyo huyu mtu aliassault is seriously assaulted for people is uh, fatally assaulted one 
na wawili wako admitted uh, moja wawili watatu wako admitted watatu wawili wako admitted wa Cherivara Hospital mmoja wako admitted uh, Camel Hospital wanaendelea kupata matibabu na huyu mtu ama huyu mtu akukata watu vile nimesema tulimkamata ukamweka cell na hadadibiwa kulingana na sheria ile kitu alichokifanya ali uh, received uh, three patients with uh, deep cut wounds last night the first one is an 18 year old who received a deep who had a deep cut wound on the scalp he was taken to the and stabilized the second patient was also a 20 year old male who had a, a deep cut on the posterior part of the neck he was in shock we had to stabilize him and then he was taken to the theater he's now out of danger and the fourth one had superficial cuts on the arm and also on the scalp and uh, all of them are now out of danger we attended to all of them and all of them are stable but uh, they sustained deep cut wounds following a panga cut from uh, a known assailant somebody who is known to them the one who did the panga cuts so as we speak now they're all on medications and stable